Welcome to another SFBB Plus instructional video. In this video, we're going to try and cover in a little bit more detail the daily diary, the daily temperature page, and some of the other pages um, that you might access more often. So let's jump straight in, take a look here. You can see that you do have access straight to the daily diary and the daily temperatures. So go ahead and open up your daily diary. Now, you are going to be signing off your daily diary you can have opening checks and you can have closing checks now there are a set of standard checks and these are the kinds of things prerequisites really that you should be looking at every day what well, you have the option for now here you can see you have additional open checks so i can tick i can edit that page i can tick these one at a time or i can tick them all now these are now checks that you can add yourselves and we'll show you how to do that in just a second you can see here this is where you'd complete your opening checks same again closing checks you can see here you can add your own closing checks and it does require just to do a daily review just to say if anything has changed or if there's any problems that you've dealt with but just come back up you can see here so some of these these daily checks are things that you can adapt yourselves so they're actually updated from the management section see here is a button we can go to the management section and you see here here are the checks that i've added but you can add add more here so you see i'm just going to add one that says test i'm going to save that as a new opening check below it here you can add closing checks I'm going to navigate my way back to the daily diary and you can see here that test has appeared so I'm going to edit I'm going to check them all and importantly here if I'm going to revisit this page I'm going to tick save changes that allows me or anyone else to go back in later in the day I may edit again. I may do my closing checks. I'll complete all of this page. And you can see here I have the option again to save changes, which means I can come back in, or I can finalize it. And that's how you finish the day and you save that page away to allow you to complete another one the following day. So here I'm going to press finalize. You can see here it's not something you can undo, so it does warn you. You see that finalizes that page here i have a history point i can go in and i can see all of those diary pages with the newest at the top so here it is signed away this is where i can again i can share that as an individual page but we'll we'll look at sharing pages in a in another video you can access the daily diary from a number of places you can see you can from the side menu itself from the main menu and you can also shortcut straight to it from the dashboard as i say we know that this is more regularly accessed and the most common page used so what we will do as well is cover the daily temperature pages now this isn't something that the standard sfbb model requires but we know that that most people do keep these records so you can see here you can keep temperature records now once you've added these records you can see here it copies them across from day to day so you don't have to you don't have to add them every day if we're going to edit you can see here i can delete those perhaps if they were a one-off but here you can see I can put my initials and I can make a record of those temperature checks. Now the same as a daily diary, I can save those changes because I might come back and do other checks later in the day. Particularly here, I've chosen to do fridges and freezers AM and PM. 
once you're happy with that for the day you would finalize again you can see here i can add rows if i need to so if i did another cook off i could add that add that and keep that record once i'm happy with that record again finalize i can go into history you can see here that's the record one of the things to cover as well there's some other pages that are more specialists that have these tables so for instance if we come in to the diary section might have contacts lists now here you can see you can add a new contact and it would list those contacts underneath you can delete them or you can edit them this is also where you can build up your cleaning schedule see here i choose to edit i can actually add rows here for after use every shift daily weekly to create my bespoke cleaning schedule see it's also a staff training record now here you can add a member of staff at the top once you've added them they appear here and this is where you can actually record the standard set of training against sfbb plus itself the sections but you can also add additional training you see here so if they do other relevant training you can add it here so that's the basics of navigating to and from those more regular parts of the app daily diary daily temperatures and where there's some more specialist updates so that you can keep your own tables of information